testing, but he doesn't say he remembers exactly what he was taking. Let's get back to it now. Alex Rodriguez with Peter Gammons earlier today in Miami. What have your goals all along has been to be in the Hall of Fame? <clears throat> Do you think that a player who was tested positive or admitted to taking illegal substances is disqualified from Cooperstown? I hope not. I hope not. I mean, I think every, every case is different. I think you have to look at the data. Um, if you take a career of, you know, 25 years and you take away three or you take away two and a half or you take away one, I think overall you have to make a decision. I don't have a Hall of Fame vote. Um, uh, it would be a dream to be in the Hall of Fame and, and I hope one day I get in. Um, but my biggest dream right now is to win a world championship and to be, uh, you know, the last team standing on that field. Now, we go back to Jose Canseco talked a lot in his books about you. Mm -hmm. And he claimed in his last book that he hooked you up with a guy that was very um, well acquainted with performance enhancing drugs here in Miami. Is that true? That couldn't be more false. That's 100% uh, that's not true. And, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, interesting how Sports Center and ESPN st still quotes this guy. Um, no, it is 100% false. What do you think <clears throat> the drugs that you took 2001 through 2003, what do you think it did for your performance? You know, I, I'm not sure. I, I know that uh, that I've always enjoyed hitting in Texas. I think it's, it's, it's a wonderful place to play. Um, it's a great place to hit. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's really hard to to transfer, you know, X with your performance. Because um, then I go back to well, what happened when I was 20 years old and what happened, uh, you know, two years ago in, in, in New York and then four years ago when I won my MVP, uh, two MVPs post. So I think overall, um, my consistency uh, says a lot. What do you think is the best evidence that you have been clean since 2004? Well, I'll go back further, Peter. When I was, when I was 20 years old, um, I was 210. And today, I'm 225. I gained a pound a year for 15 years. Um, that's not a lot of change. Uh, I'm also going to be on trial for the next nine years. So 14 years post my Texas era. Um, I think there's a great sample there for someone who has a Hall of Fame vote to say, okay, I have 20 years of clean baseball and then make up their mind. Do you think it will be hard in the first couple of years to deal with people who bring up, quote, cheating, unquote? Well, the truth is the truth. And, and uh, again, I think it's important to, to get it out there and, you know, it might take five years, it might take ten years, it may never go away. But, um, you know, being honest is, is absolutely the, the only thing for me to do right now. Do you think that, I mean, sometimes, well, let's face it, you're, you're certainly a, uh, you're, you're one of the kings of the tabloids, you know, your private life, your divorce, your, <clears throat> you know, whatever. You get, you start to get tired of celebrity? Of, of, of being a celebrity? It comes with the territory. It really does. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't trade my life for anybody. I think I'm really the most fortunate. I have such appreciation, and, and even in a day like today, I feel very grateful for what God's been able to do for me. Uh, with that, uh, there's been some challenges that are necessary for me to get through, this being one of them, this being the biggest one of my life. Um, you know, divorce was, was another major thing. It's been a rough couple. 15 months here for me, but I have, you know, great certainty that I'm going to, you know, overcome this and, uh, and become a better person for it and a better father. When they get a little bit older, what will you tell your daughters? I was stupid for three years. I was very, very stupid. And I hope that, again, the Selena Roberts of the world do not try to go back to when I was 15 years old or whatever nonsense she's going to report in her book or, or whatever nonsense uh, she's... Uh, whatever information she's collected through stalking me for the last three or four years to, to ruin it more than 
than I've done for myself. I, I, I've made more mistakes than anyone, and for that I'm very sorry. What will you tell kids around the country? You know, work hard. What, what you have is enough. Um, you know, believe in yourself and uh, don't make the mistake that I made. As you've been living with this, um, has this been more difficult than dealing with things like what came out in Joe Torre's book? Uh, this, is, this is by far the, the most serious thing that's ever happened in my life, along with, you know, with my personal life, what happened, you know, with my breakup of, of Cynthia for the last, you know, 13 years. I mean, she's, she was an integral part of my life, and, and we have two beautiful children. And, and then you have, um, it seems like every year around this time, somebody else is coming out with a book, um, you know, talking about me. But, you know, again, I think God has a reason for everything. Um, you know, I'm sorry I always have to be in the middle of, of, of these controversies. But at the end of the day, I feel, I feel good today about coming forward and, uh, and being honest and, and turning the page to the next chapter of my life. Did you feel betrayed by Joe Torre? No. I haven't read the book, Peter. So, I mean, to even comment on the book wouldn't be fair to Joe. It wouldn't be fair to myself. Did you, did you hear people call you a fraud? Never. I mean, the one thing is... First of all, let me say, I, I, I've always had a lot of respect for, for Joe as a manager. And, you know, actually the year when he left in 07, I really thought we, we, we had a huge turnaround. I thought we got along really well. And, uh, and I actually thought that we were, you know, pretty close. So I, I don't have any problems with Joe. And, and I will not comment on it, not now or in spring training, until I read the book. Uh, I, I won't comment on it. Um, Peter, in, my, in our clubhouse, everybody makes fun of me. I mean, I'm talking about from the clubhouse kid to every coach, Larry Boa, to, to Mike Borzello, to Joe Torre, to every guy on our team. And I like it. I, I like taking it. I, I'm not a good ragger, but I, I'm a good receiver. And uh, I like having fun. To me, th that, that's really a compliment that guys feel that comfortable that they can actually make fun of you at any time. So did I hear a fraud? Yeah, we joked about a lot of things. I mean, listen, 25 guys had 25 different nicknames. Um, so to me, there's, there's no harm, no foul there. So, and are you worried now about how often you're going to have to answer these questions about those three years? Um, well, I'm answering them here today, and uh, I hope uh, soon enough we can put it in a vault and, and move forward. I mean, uh, I, I know the consequences, I know, but, you know, the truth is the truth. Can baseball ever be as much fun for you? as it was when you were 21 and hitting 358? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, have, I haven't been part of a world championship team. That's the ultimate goal, and that's where my only focus... I, I get to start uh, a new chapter in my life where I can only focus on baseball, my team, the, the, the fans of New York, and, and, and recommitting 100% of my focus. I, I can't wait to get to spring training, because to play with, you know, going through a divorce, uh, this gorilla on my back, uh, not being 100% honest and forthright and being transparent. I get to go out and play baseball, the game that I love most. That's, that's my savior, the game of baseball. So yes, I mean, um, it can be as much fun uh, as never before. When, when some young player or some kid <clears throat> comes up to you and says, all right, you knew that what you were taking is illegal. Why did you do it? How do you answer that? Uh, well, I've answered that. I mean, I think it, it comes back to... Um, the culture was much different. Uh, it, it had a lot to do with me being stupid and selfish and naive and, and just, um, you know, I, I got caught up in this everybody's doing it era. So, you know, why not experiment with X, Y, or Z? And, uh, you know, there's absolutely no excuses. Uh, and I feel, you know, deep regret for that. Do you think that it's possible over the next nine years to, to prove your innocence after 2003? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to take it one day at a time, uh, feel, count my blessings every day for, for having an opportunity to play Major League Baseball, and uh, continue what I've done the last five years, which is play very good baseball um, past all that you know, era. For the good of the game, would you like to see all those 104 names released 
uh, the, the, well, from the positive tests in 2003? I don't have any interest um, in any of that. I mean, obviously, I would defer to Major League Baseball, um, the commissioner's office, and the union to deal with those matters. I mean, the one thing that I'm proud of is coming uh, forthright about my own situation, which is the only person I govern. How, how do you think this got leaked out? Peter's really not that important. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, I'm glad it's behind me. I'm glad that I'm, that I'm addressing it, and I will continue to address it. And hopefully at some point we can put it behind, uh, behind me and, and focus on, on playing baseball. Thank you.